There is? Yes, yes. Network. Okay. As we know, for each unit, we have uh, a main question. A main question for our the main theme of the text of the uh, five passages or the five chapters that we are going to take. Okay, thank you, Lujain. You helped me a lot. Okay, oh, girls. Uh, girls, uh, do you see my PowerPoint? Yes, yes. 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 Uh, are you all here? Are you ready? Yes. Shall I start and focus with me? Okay. What makes a great teacher? This is the essential question of Unit 2. What makes a great teacher? In your opinion, girls, what makes a great teacher? Who is the one, the one that, that makes that you can say? Our yes. students. Uh, uh, related, relates to her students. Related to students, how? Jane? No, she really relates to them. Like when they tell her that they're tired, she, she really knows what they're feeling. Not she's like, no, you're just using an excuse. Uh -huh. She feels, she feels the students. Yes, she feels them. Mm. And uh, what else? Girls, participate with me, please. What other aspects mm -hmm. or other qualities in great teacher that you say that, wow, he or she is a great Maybe teacher? Maybe the way she explains. What? Yes. The way she explains. The way she explains, excellent. Huh? The way of teaching. The way of teaching. Maybe huh? she, she has limits, but at the same time, she can be friendly. Like ah, friendly, and at the same time, she has her limits, yes. This she tries great. to share her experience with her students. Yes, she is friendly. She tells her experience to her students. Mm. What else, girls? Uh, patience. Patience. Great. Yes. Teaching, yes. If you have no patience, you can never teach. Yes, you're right, Leia. Yes. What else, girls? She tries to power up her students. Like yes. She encourages them. Praises yes. them. Yes, great. Great. This is, if we're talking Sorry. about a teacher outside uh, the academic perspective, mm. maybe a teacher should be wise in order to give her student the correct lesson. Yes, wise. So she has to be friendly or he has to be friendly, wise, patient, uh, of course, uh, educated, well educated. Huh? Cultivated, it means any yani, modern and cultivated. Uh, uh, what else? Fair. Fair. Do, you think, fair. do you think that other jobs should have the same qualities as a teacher has? No. No, I think the teacher should have things that are more like things that are not related mm. to only teaching. Yes, yes. Miss, I have a question to you as a teacher. Yes, please. And I've been thinking about it a lot. What mm. makes a teacher know that she wants to be or he wants to be a teacher? Like, what makes you guys want to be a teacher? In my case, I didn't want to be a teacher. <laughs> okay, I, how did you learn this work? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. In my case, I was not graduate from English school. I was graduate from accounting school. And I should work in a bank or work in a company. And at the years of my college, my college years, I was tra I trained in a bank for a year. I trained in a petroleum company in a year. I, I trained in, a, because you know, in summer we go to training. I, the third year I trained in, a, in an office. Okay, so these were the kinds of jobs I had to, to join for my uh, college degree. But anyway, uh, at that, at the time of at the years of college and after college for seven years, I was teaching uh, a charitable uh, teaching for uh, illiterates. Illiterates are those people who cannot read or write. So those people who cannot read or write, uh, I, I I taught them for seven years. I took a course how to teach them, and I took I uh, I taught them for seven years. Uh, I was too young at that age. I was like eighteen. 
I was 18, I was teaching people who were at the age of uh, 45, 50, 60. So it was a great challenge for me. And that taught me a lot. That taught me a lot. This teaching, this year, these years of teaching taught me a lot. It helped me how to be, as you said, it helped me how to be friendly. And in the same time, because I was too much younger than them, and in the same time to be uh, strict uh, or to put limits. I, I, it helped me to be patient because they are a lot. Uh, I, 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 as I said, I'm much younger. So it helped me to be patient, to respect them to understand that they are so old to understand or to learn a alphabet from the beginning or one to three or in, in Arabic because I was teaching them Arabic and, uh, and math but in Arabic. Uh, that's it. Uh, then I when I came here to Saudi Arabia I you know, the jobs in Saudi Arabia are not so varied for uh, for non uh, Saudis so the only job I had to was uh, at the, at, the, at the beginning, I worked in a computer uh, institution to in uh, teaching those uh, in, uh, in co at college at a college in Breda. I, I was living in Breda, so there I was. You know, it, it came like this. Uh, a friend knows a friend, and then she told me they need a computer and English teacher there for the for the for the teachers in the college. So I was teaching them computer and English, and then gradually I moved to the uh, schools and this, and, and became a, an English teacher. What helped me to become an English teacher? Also, through during college, during the year of college, I took uh, an English course with the uh, American University of Cairo. And this is a good point, Jenny. I was just discussing this with the grade 12 yesterday, that through the years of college, take everything. Jenny. Through the years of college, I taught illiterates. I, I trained in a bank, in a company, in a, an office. I um, took English course. I took uh, Deutsch course. I took ICDL computer course. And that all of these, the courses, not the college. Of course, college degree is very important, but what I took, Next to the college was the reason that I now am an te English teacher. Miss, did you ever regret your decision? No, 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 no. For teaching? No, I love teaching. I love, I love, I really love teaching, girls. I, I love it. I, I, I told you, or I don't remember, in my previous school, I was uh, an English coordinator. I was not teaching again, the way I'm teaching here. I, 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 I prefer to teach. Yeah, I don't like to be a coordinator or a, a supervisor or anything. No, I'll, I prefer to teach. So if you ask me now, what is your decision to leave teaching, for example, and be working in any other place? No, I love teaching. That's it. And that's the most important thing is to love yeah. the thing that you're working at. Yes, yes. I, I feel I feel OK. And although that teaching is very hard, honestly, it is. It, as you said, it, it demands us to have many qualities, not one. An engineer is excellent in, in engineering and dealing with the, with the co-workers. But a, a teacher, she's a mother, she's a teacher, she's a, a doctor, she's a consultant, she is a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, and, and she has to have really, she ha as you said, she has to be patient, respectful, because she is teaching and she is responsible for a huge number of, of students, okay? And she is responsible for like not less than 60 girls or 60 boys if he's a man. He is responsible for them. Even when you're dealing with the students, you're also dealing with the parents for the students. Of course, that's true. <laughs> that's true, well, especially like... in young ages. Yeah. Especially in young ages, that's what, what the problems the other teachers for younger grades uh, face because they, they explain to the mothers, not the, not, <laughs> not to the students. So yes, a teacher should have any more, more than any other uh, job should require qualities. Okay. Are you with me, girls? Shall yes. I continue? Okay, girls. Yes. Uh, listen, girls, the, the, the basic of literature the basic of everything, it you will search around it, after it or behind it, you will find Greeks behind it. Greek civilization and 
Then after the Greek civilization came the Roman civilization, but the Greek civilization was the first civilization that thought of art, uh, literature and, and thinking and that. Uh, we have Socrates. Socrates is the first teacher of the world, as they say. This superstar teacher of the ancient Greek world, okay? Girls, I want you to imagine a thing with me. Did you take it in the social that we, as human beings, were wandering all everywhere? Yani, we didn't settle down in a, one place. We used to yes. wander and hunt, and then uh, those hunters and barbarians, when they set and they settled down next to a river, for example, and they established a city, and then a city state, they uh, they start to build the small houses or huts. And then, they, do you do you know this? Are you aware of this? Yes. yes. Okay. I want you to imagine with me that those people didn't know what is writing, didn't know what is reading, and then they are do, do what they wake up in the morning, they plant what they are going to eat, they will eat and they sleep. That's that's their life. Then Socrates came and he started to think. Yani this thinking was not at that time, yani they didn't understand how can a person think. We eat and we sleep, that's what we do. How do we think? How, what is a mind? Yani they didn't know at that time that there is a mind and there is a heart and there is a, a kidney. They didn't know that we use the heart to think. And yani we are talking about something happened hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago. Huh? So it was, when I say, yani, now when I say to you, what was your previous period you saved for me? Physics, I understand physics and uh, uh, solution and problems and the solutions. And these are things you, we are used to. But imagine thousands of years ago when no one was doing anything but eating and sleeping. And then someone says, oh, we will start to think. Think. What is think? Wake your mind. So 2,400 years ago for corrupting the minds of the youth of Athens. This man was sentenced to death. Yani he was killed. Why? Because he was corrupting the minds of the youth of Athens. Athens is Athena in Greece. This man was convicted of corrupting the minds of youth. Why? Because he encouraged, encouraged them to think. He said to them, come. He made a small school and he said to them, use your mind. Use question and dialogue. What is question and dialogue? He used to stop people in the street and he says, he, you know, street, and he says to a man, come. Uh, how do you eat? He says, I open my mouth and eat. No, no, no. How do you eat? So the man finds himself, how do I eat? You understand? Yes. yes why are you alive? Yani, if someone comes to you and he says to you, why are you alive? <laughs> you will say, I don't know. Why am I alive? So what will happen? After he asks you the question, you start, start to do what? Work your order. mind. What did we do at, before we start to the chapter or unit? I told you that for each unit, there is a very important Essential? Huh? Question. question. There is an important essential question. Why? Because when I ask you a question, it will what? Make you think. Make, Make you think. Like now when I asked you what are the aspects of a great teacher? It helped you to think. It helped you to think. Ah. Uh, so this thinking is waking your mind and this is what you are asked to do. And everyone is asked to do, to work his mind. At the time of uh, uh, Socrates, no one used his mind. So he was convicted and sentenced to death for corrupting the minds of the youth. But he, yes, but, but he had two students, I think. He had, yes. He had uh, Aristotle no, and, uh, yes, Aristotle and uh, Pluto. Plato, Plato. Yes. 
Platform. And Aristotle, right? And Aristotle. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then came the, the, the basic of the whole our, our, our literature. This, yeah. These people. So Kras is the beginning. He is the first teacher. Yes. In the Greek and the English literature. Okay? A way of other civilization. Because at the time of Greek civilization, there was the Phoenician civilization and a way of that. So his way of question and dialogue is still used in classroom today. Okay, so this is Socrates, the first teacher. Then we, do you hear about Montessori? That we, uh, mother say, I would uh, like to put my child in a Montessori uh, yeah. KG and this. Mm. Uh, this woman, uh, her name was Maria Montessori. She was, uh, she is uh, one of the first female doctors in Italy. She's Italian. She observed that young children, the younger children, what is Montessori about? That they teach through holding, okay, through touching. Teach themselves by exploring their surroundings and the drawing conclusion about their world. Today, many schools are dedicated to teaching students using the Montessori method, which uses the discovery method to tap into a child's nature, na uh, natural curiosity and motivation. So, uh, for example, the child in the Montessori class, he doesn't, they don't wear shoes. They, uh, they learn by touching, they learn by clay. And for, if, you, if they will take um, five senses, for example, they will, with the clay, they will create an eye. Uh, they will make an ear by touching. They depend on touching. The, the, the child feels with everything around him, the surroundings. So we discussed Socrates, Greek, Maria Montessori, Italian. Then he told me about Booker T. Washington. Booker T. Washington, girls, he was a slave. He was a black slave. His early attempts to get a formal education, he tried to get a formal education. But he, he couldn't because he was a slave and he was poor. But he insisted to learn. Okay? He, he, but Washington's drive to learn could not be uh, extinguished. He eventually learned his college degree. He got his college degree. He fought till he got his college degree. After they finished the slavery, black people were not allowed to join college. He suffered a lot to join college. He got a formal education, he joined college, he became a teacher, and he established or founded uh, an institute, an institute. And now it is, the institute is still till now, in uh, an institution still till now in the United States. Now Tuskegee University, this institute became uh, Tuskegee, Tuskegee, yeah, Tuskegee University. Okay, to provide educational opportunities for African American. Are you with me, girls? Yes. yes. So we met Socrates, we met Montessori, we met Washington. These, all of these are examples for what? Teachers. Then we come to the most famous teacher. This is the most famous teacher, Anne Sullivan. Who's Anne Sullivan? Do you remember Helen Keller or you haven't heard about her? Uh, yes. Yes, Helen Keller was a, 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 a girl. She was blind, deaf, and uh, mute. She couldn't speak, hear, or talk, or uh, see. She taught her, here is a Helen Keller. And Sullivan taught her through, she held her hand as in the picture, she dropped drops of water, drops of water. So she brought the water and she drops of water and then she started to uh, write on her, on her hand. Okay, then she, yes. Helen Keller started to put her hand on the lips of Anne Sullivan to understand how she moves her lips and how she writes on her and you know, she got, she made a connection between the mouth and the hands and the touching. Okay? Yes. 
so all other teachers have given up on visually and hearing impaired, uh, impaired Helen Keller. Sullivan endured. She handled it. She endured it. And she visually impaired herself. Sullivan patiently looked beyond Keller's behavior and understood her desire to understand the word. Because Helen was so... She, the, uh, she, she insisted to understand Helen. Both Sullivan and Keller... Helen Keller became advocates for people with disabilities. Anne Sullivan studied in college. Helen Keller studied in college and both of them graduated, graduated from advocate and they became advocates, lawyers. Okay, the last case for today is Jamie Escalante. Jamie Escalante is he was a, he, he is an immigrant from, from Bolivia. He is immigrant, it means he, his main town was Bolivia. Escalante came to the U.S. in 1963. He taught himself English, and eventually he became a math teacher in the 1970s. He began teaching uh, in a high school, okay, in Los Angeles, with the teaching style of uh, drill sergeant, a teaching style. His client taught advanced college preparation math classes. Those who want to join college, preparation for math classes and these students were perfect excellent his story is captured in the movie stand and deliver and this is what we are going to see now so these are uh, a few examples of great teachers who encourage and challenge and inspire their students as we said Socrates, maria montessori washington so maria montessori she uh, invented a new way of teaching for kids to understand from the surroundings. Washington for black people. Anne Sullivan, the greatest teacher for Helen Keller and Jamie Escalante. Uh, they made a movie for Jamie Escalante here. Uh, here I brought for you a, a part of it. It's Frank Garcia. Well, when I say Garcia, you answer, okay? Are your friends auditing? I audited them to come with me. Do you hear well, girls? Yes, yes. 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 Well, when I say Garcia, you answer, okay? Are your friends auditing? I audited them to come with me. I'm El Cyclone from Bolivia. One man gang. This is my domain. Don't give me no gas. I'll jump on your face, tattoo your chromosomes. <laughs> this is basic math, but basic math is too easy for you burros. So I'm gonna teach you algebra because I'm the champ. And if the only thing you know how to do is add and subtract, you'll only be prepared to do one thing, pump gas. Hey, ripping off a gas station is better than working and what, you know? Orale. Orale. I'm a tough guy. Tough guys don't do math. Tough guys deep fried chicken for a living. Orale. You want a wing or a leg, man? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever heard of negative and positive numbers? Anybody? Yeah, negative numbers are like unemployment. 10 million people out of work, that's a negative number. We're going to need a lot of Kleenexes. There's going to be a lot of bloodshed. You ever been to the beach? Yeah. You ever play with the sand? Yeah, Finger man. <laughs> Come on, finger man. You ever dig a hole? The sand that comes out of the hole, that's a positive. The hole is a negative. That's it. Simple. Anybody can do. Minus two plus two equals. Nethead. Orale. Answer it. 
Come on, you know the answer. Minus two plus two, fill the hole. If I had that on my hands, I wouldn't raise it either. Oh. Really? Come on, a negative two plus two equals. Anybody can do it. Fill the hole. Minus two plus two equals. Come on, just fill the hole. You can do it. You know, let these burros laugh at you. Minus two plus two equals. Zero. Zero. You're right. Simple. That's it. Minus two plus two equals zero. You just fill the hole. Did you know that neither the Greeks nor the Romans were capable of using the concept of zero? It was your ancestors, the Mayas, who first contemplated the zero, the absence of value. True story. You burros have math in your blood. Hey, Kimo sabe todo, the man knows everything. Orale. Kimo sabe. Orale, okay. Parentheses means multiply. Every time you see this, you multiply. A negative times a negative equals a positive. A negative times a negative equals a positive. Say it. A negative times a negative equals a positive. Say it. A negative times a negative equals a positive. Again. A negative times a negative equals a positive. A negative times a negative equals a positive. I can't hear you. A negative times a negative equals a positive. Louder. A negative times a negative equals a positive. Louder. A negative times a negative equals a positive. Okay, girls. Uh, are you here? Still here? Or you, you slept? Yes. yes okay. <laughs> Uh, this man, as we said, the Escalante, he brought, he immigrated from Bolivia, and then he started teaching in the United States. He taught himself English, that's why he has an accent. And then he was faced by those uh, kind of students. You know, you understand this age, and they do not accept their teachers well. And, and he, it was a great challenge. He challenged everything, and he became uh, excellent, and his students became excellent and superior in math. But did you look at his way of teaching? Yes. Huh? You look. Okay, I will show you one more thing and then you tell me what is the difference. Okay? Okay. Yes. Think with, please. Girls, are you all here? I, I, I hear no one talks except Lujain, uh, <laughs> Layen, Layen and Sora. Those who reply me, where are the other girls? Yes, I am talking to you. Where? where? Raise your voice. I want to hear everyone, girls. I want to feel that you are with me, girls, please. Okay? Other girls? Yes, or Spade, no. girls? Okay. Children, please take your seats. Everyone, I'd like to introduce Ms. Dunham's substitute. This is Mr. Schneebly. Why don't you write your name on the board? Yes. Yes, I will. You know what? Why don't you all just call me Mr. S? Mr. S has never taught here at Horace Green, so I want you all to be on your best behavior. So the curriculum's on the desk, and do you have any questions? Yeah, when's lunch? The children just had their lunch. Is there anything else you need? Um, I'm a teacher. All I need are minds for molding. All right, then. Well, thanks again. You saved the day. Okay, who's got food in here? You're not going to get it, Travel. I'm hungry. 
you. What do you got? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Teach. 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 All right, look. Here's the deal. I've got a hangover. Who knows what that means? Doesn't that mean you're drunk? No. It means I was drunk yesterday. It means you're an alcoholic. Wrong. You wouldn't come to work hungover unless you're an alcoholic. Dude, you got a disease. Hmm. Hmm. What's your name? Freddie Jones. Hmm, Freddie Jones. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. The point is, y'all can just chill today. We'll start on this crapola tomorrow. Yes, Tinkerbell. Summer, as class factotum, first I'd like to just say, welcome to Horse Green. Thank you. Do you have any questions about our schedule? Because usually now Miss Stenham teaches vocabulary. Then gives us a pop quiz. Then she'll split us up into our reading groups. Track B's reading Okay, hey, hey, hey. Miss Dumbum ain't your teacher today? I am. <laughs> And I got a headache and the runs. So I say, time for recess. But Mr. S, that poster charts everyone's performance. We get gold stars when we master the material covered in class. How do we get gold stars if we just have recess? What are these black dots here? The merits. What kind of a sick school is this? Hmm? As long as I'm here, there will be no grades or gold stars or demerits. We're going to have recess all the time. Woo! But Miss Denham only gives us recess for 15 minutes. Hey, you're not hearing me, girl. I'm in charge now, okay? And I say recess. Go play and have fun now. What do you think, girls? Hello? Yes. And he what was rude. Huh? Yes, he is rude. No, I think he's clever because when he like uh, removed that list because he wanted like to increase their self esteem, because that list like conquer their self esteem. Hmm. So what and do you think of, uh, uh, of the two ways of teaching? That was just a really bad word. The first one was much more better. He was encouraging. Mm. So these are two movies. The first movie is uh, Stand and Deliver, about, as we said, the math teacher, Scalante. And the second one was the, the rock school, this, or the school of rock. So which kind of teaching you prefer, girls? First one. I want you to think. I want you to think, please. Miss, uh, to which, be honest, I yes. think it would be better if they mixed both teaching techniques. Oh. Like, instead of the first one alone or the last one alone. Because the last one is kind of showed that everyone is equal. No one is bad in class. That No one is smarter than the other. And yet the first one taught them that you can all learn. Mm. But the mm. first one, he was kind of criticizing them at the same time he was teaching. Yes, criticizing, teaching. Yes. You feel yes. like it's yes. old method? Yes. No, I feel like criticizing a person, like for some people, it may let them be more competitive and like they want to study more to be better. But for some people, it just degrades them. They start to believe that they are that bad. So I yeah. think criticizing a person is not always the good way. Yes, yes. Uh, Raghad. Raghad? Okay, Raghad, it appears to me that you left the class. Busayna, uh, are you here, Busayna? Ms. Raghad has a problem in the laptop. Okay. Busayna? Yes, Ms. Busayna, which, uh, which style of teaching you prefer, the first one or the second one? The first one. Why? Um, I prefer, I feel it's more really, perfect than the second one. Mm. It's more efficient? Yes. Yes. Kadra, which one do you prefer? Uh, me, both. 
both. You'd like to mix both. Yeah, because the first one let them like to understand while imagining the something around them based mm. on their daily life. And also the second one to increase their self-esteem for all students. So both. Mm -hmm. Nur Yusuf. Yes, Miss. Yeah. Miss, I would prefer the first one because it's somewhat encouraging. He's somewhat encouraging his students that they know the answer and they can answer. But why? I think the second one. Mm. Like it's good. Like they they will have break and. Mm. Uh, the first uh, first video, the first teacher, he he takes the old method. He has a board, he has a chalk, he has things to learn, and he will teach you. He was sarcastic in a way, but yes, because those students were also were not treating him well at the beginning of uh, the movie. And this is like a, a, a the middle of the movie. Uh, the second one. He went to a class that all the students only care about marks and stars and who is better than whom. And he tried to make them feel no or just relax, calm down. Uh, the two environments are different. The two environments are different and the two teachers are also different. Right? And the students uh. are different too. Yes, the students, which is the environment, the students also are different. Oh, yeah. Yes. But I, so like imagine the first, the first teacher uh, with the with the second class. No. <laughs> of it's course, the first the class with the second teacher, not no one will learn anything. <laughs> <laughs> they will die instead. <laughs> yes, and the first teacher, no, and first teachers calendar with the second class, they will be genius, but nothing but studying. Yes. But first class with the second teacher, no one will learn anything. Go <laughs> girls and see you in three minutes in second period, okay? Uh,